You need to use this free tool now to boost FPS, lower input delay and even get lower ping in all games. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will be showing you guys another free tool that you can use to optimize windows and games to fix any and all FPS drops, lags or stutters, lower input delay and boost FPS in all the games. This has kind of become a series on this channel where I show you guys the best free tools you can use. So make sure to check out the other videos over on my channel too. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well and also hit the subscribe button because a lot of you guys are watching these videos without even subscribing and without any further ado let's dive straight into today's video so the tool i'm talking about is this optimizer now i have showcased this in the past as well a couple of times in my videos however they updated it a lot more with a brand new ui and even more useful tweaks you can go ahead and download it from my website which will have the direct link to it the link will be down in the description you will go on to this website and all you need to do is click the post that would be up right here it will have the same thumbnail and the same title as this video that you are watching and all you would need to do is click on that if anything opens up in the new tab just close it and click on it again we are working to disable those pop-up ads but as of right now they can't be disabled but they will be soon so yeah until then just bear with me and once you are on the post just go ahead and scroll down click on this huge red download button and it should take you to the mediafire website now keep in mind if anything else opens up just close it don't click on anything else click on the download button once more and as you guys can see that it has opened the media fire page and then all you guys would need to do is click on the download button and it will download this optimizer now once it is downloaded just right click and run it as admin make sure to run it as admin just so that we can apply every single tweak and you are not missing out on anything so after it's done checking some of the things it's going to load up this program and now we're going to be starting off with the options these are just the options you can use to customize the program itself such as changing the color and theme and showing health messages and all the good stuff then the integrator tab i would want you to skip this the hardware information has everything that you need to know about your hardware which i think is a really good thing to know because a lot of the times you will need to know about your hardware to do certain things for the registry i would just highly recommend you to go ahead and skip it same thing with the host and then we come on to the pinger so the tweak i'm about to show you is going to be really useful in decreasing your ping so make sure to follow it properly now there are two main domains one is the google one that is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. you're gonna go ahead and type in it that here and then go ahead and click on ping it's going to run a test nine times to get you guys the minimum the maximum and the average latency you will get on that dns server once it's done just go ahead and look at the average for me it's 148.44 now what i'm gonna do is go ahead and change it to the cloudflare dns so that would be 1.1.1.1 and then go ahead and click on ping once more it's going to run the same test again and show the minimum maximum and average latency i will get on this specific dns so once it is done you guys can see that the average i'm getting here is 53.78 now i know that my internet connection is really bad unfortunately there is no better service provider here so i am stuck with it but this one is a lot a lot better than the google one so what i'm gonna do is click on this little dns icon and then what i'm gonna do is click on the open network connections once i'm here i'm going to go ahead and select my network adapter right click click on properties and then click on the internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 just go ahead and and click on configure and then just go ahead and double click on it to open it up then make sure that use the following dns server address is checked and then just change the preferred dns to 1.1.1.1 because that is the one that worked best for me in case 8.8.8.8 .8 gave you the lower ping results you can go ahead and use that as for the alternate dns i would just recommend you to use 1.0.0.1 once you are done with this just go ahead and click on ok then go ahead and click on ok once more you can close out of this and last thing is to just just go ahead and flush dns server go ahead click yes this might temporarily take down to your internet just for a couple of seconds but that's completely normal and as you guys can see it just says the cloudflare dns here and if you change it to google dns it will change it to that but i'm not gonna go ahead and change it to that one i'm gonna keep the cloudflare dns the reason i like to apply it manually is because uh, some of the times this does not work properly that has been the case for me so that is the reason i like to open up the network connection settings and apply it manually rather than just going from here moving on we can go into to the cleaner and just go ahead and select anything that you want to clean up so for me i'm gonna go ahead and select all of the windows stuff i don't want to remove any of the cache or history or anything from google chrome mozilla and brave because i'm signed into a lot of stuff there and i don't want to remove that but i do want to remove cache for the internet explorer and also the microsoft edge so once you're done with that go ahead and click on analyze as you guys can see the maximum size to be freed is around 355 megabytes just go ahead and click on clean and you're done then inside of the apps you can go ahead and download and 
install any of these apps quickly from here all you need to do is just check the ones that you want to download and then just go ahead and click on download and they will just install after download also you can set the preference to 64 bit or 32 bit depending on your windows so this is just a really handy thing there are a bunch of useful apps inside of here and i especially recommend it if you keep reinstalling your windows or if you are on a new install then for the startup go inside of here and just go ahead and check and delete anything that you don't want to start up with your windows well for me everything inside of here is the things that i do want to start up with my pc so i don't have anything to remove but if you do have something that you don't want to start up with your windows just click on them to check them and then just go ahead and click on delete then moving on to the uwp apps and this is the list of all the apps that are installed on your machine and what you need to do is just go ahead and click on them these would be the uwp apps not the third party apps so yeah go ahead and click on uninstall and it's going to uninstall those then for the windows 10 specific tweaks now these do work on windows 11 as well not all of them might work but i would still give it a shot all right so you can go ahead and restore the classic file explorer it's really up to you you can disable start menu as which i highly recommend uninstall onedrive i already have that so i don't need that disable my people enable long paths disable link disable spell checking disable xbox live well i mean i don't even have that i have that stripped uh, disable tpm 2.0 disable the feature updates you can do that as well which i have already disabled it so i'm not gonna overwrite again and again enable gaming mode yes enable classic volume mixer this is really basically up to you you can go ahead and use this one or just the windows default one that it has disable insider services yes disable game bar yes remove quest to devices yes 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 so yeah these are the settings that i'm using but i would highly recommend you to just go ahead and use all of these because these are some of the best tweaks that you can use right now in order to optimize your windows then for the universal now these are the settings that just apply to the whole system universally hence the name universal so optimized performance these are going to go ahead and tremendously help you with the fps drops and just boosting fps in general in every single game that you play because it is optimizing windows disable network throttling yes disable smart screen yes disable system restore now this one is kind of technical i mean system restore is not that helpful anyways but i mean some people can just keep it on it's really up to you disable error reporting yes you want to disable it disable telemetry tasks yes disable compatibility assistant once again yes and just go ahead and do the same thing for all of these because you don't want sending your data to the companies that have developed these softwares right this is not only going to improve your privacy but also it's going to minimize all of those tasks that are running in the background hence increasing the performance as well the reason i'm not just checking all of these is because i have already applied all of these tweaks manually so yeah i don't want to keep overwriting the same tweak again and again now that is also a pro tip for all of you and disable print service yes disable fax service yes disable media player sharing yes once again disable sticky keys home group super fetch hibernation super fetch in case of a lot of these slower computers i mean a lot of you are not using that old of pcs right um, but for some people disabling it might cause a little bit of performance decrease uh, so yeah i would just play around with this however for most modern computers i would just go ahead and disable it disable smb v2 protocol just same thing go ahead and disable it and then just go ahead and click on restart to apply changes so that it goes ahead and properly applies all of the changes and also make sure that nothing is broken yeah so yeah that is pretty much all you can also go ahead and create a system restore point before changing any of these settings if you don't just disable it from here but it's really up to you all of these are completely safe i did not have any issues applying any of these settings and it's really great tool in my opinion also if you want to go ahead and check out other free tools that are really helpful and powerful then go on to my channel i have two more videos i think in the past week or in the past month actually i made about two more free tools that you can use right now but with that said make sure to hit that like button down below so that the video can reach more people and help them as well and also make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i upload a brand new video with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then Stay awesome.